Hey y'all, welcome to a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday on Up Above the Bale Buckle Bear Views. And I'm out here sitting beside my house, a little bench that my wife got, a little garden area here. Just a beautiful day. Um, sun's gonna come out and, and blind everybody here in a minute. But anyway, I'm doing Fest beers and Oktoberfest beers this week. And today on a Wet Your Whistle Wednesday, I've got the only beer that I have previously done. I've done this in a couple of times before. Um, but it was it was in with the uh, with Oktoberfest brews. You know, I only picked up like five of them or six, I think. But I'm gonna do five this week. It is a Shiner seasonal Oktoberfest Marzen style beer uh, from the Spetzel Brewing Company out of Shiner, Texas. Uh, it's a 5.7 percent ABV, and I've done this beer before, and we're gonna do it again now. I, I can't remember. I think I think I did one of these last year when I were do, was doing my countdown to Halloween Oktoberfest brews, but I can't remember. Um, seems like I did. Anyway, we're going. This and Spetzel and Shiner have screw off top, so we're going to pop the top off of this thing and let's see what we got here. Yep, got that darker color, don't it? Look at that. Pretty golden brew. Hmm. Nice. Nice head. Has that typical Oktoberfest aroma coming off of it, just very lightly. And the flavor of the head is just very, very light Oktoberfest type flavor. Hmm. bit malty um, in the head there and I hope the wind's not messing up my microphone too bad it's a nice bright beer I'll give it a little swish I don't know if that's gonna cloud it up or any or not but we're gonna see yep it did a little bit made it a little bit hazy Made it just a little bit hazy. That's okay. Shiner Oktoberfest Marzen style beer, 5.7% ABV. Y'all can see that there, maybe. All right. So, this Shiner Oktoberfest is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the hard work that you do day in and day out to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way. Support our economy. I love and appreciate y'all. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Got a little bit of a maltiness to it. Um, it's uh, I don't know. It's it's it tastes like a typical Marzen style lager, um, but it does not have anything that really sets it apart from any of the others that I've had. If that makes any sense. Um, you know, I've tried several Oktoberfests, and, and, you know, some are better than others. Some are, you know, just regular, plain old. You know, it's just, I don't know. Um, this one is typical. Uh, it tastes good. Um, it doesn't have anything unpleasant about it. Um, it's got a good flavor. But it doesn't it doesn't have anything to set it apart from the other Mars and style loggers I've had. Just to be honest, I'm gonna score this one a B as well. Um, it, it's good beer, but it's not great. It's not fantastic or anything like that. But a beer worth drinking, uh, especially at a 5.7. And and what I've done this week these these five beers that I'm doing, 
I'm doing in the order of their alcohol by volume. So yesterday's was a 5.6. This is a 5.7. Tomorrow's is going to be a 5.8, and they just continue to get more as I get down to Saturday. Uh, uh. So anyway, decent brew. Um, typical, typical Oktoberfest. Uh, still does not hold a candle to a German Oktoberfest. Uh, we just don't have what it takes. Well, here in America, we just don't have what it takes to to meet to, to, to reach that that German style. I mean, the, the 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 flavor that the German beers have. And I've got a couple. I've got a couple. We're gonna see how, how they compare later on in the week. So anyway, hey, I love and appreciate y'all. I'll be back tomorrow for our Thirsty Thursday, and I think the one I'm doing tomorrow is a German beer. I'm pretty sure it is. So y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers.